Hello everyone, welcome to your daily oracle card reading for May 27th, 2014. And um, again, I'm going to use the Gillian Kemp tree magic in addition to um, the chicken, the chicken cards. So I'll do the four chicken cards and then draw the tree magic. Okay, so we have Skyla. So she represents um, the element of air, and which corresponds with um, the the sea of thoughts, all the collective thoughts out there. And we have Tang, which is the four of fire, who represents um, sweet emotions and um, experiences that really build our memory and fill our hearts are the times that we remember. And we have Zodi, which is, um, she represents the Zodiac. She's um, eight of earth. And this is um, basically about our, our life purpose with um, ourselves and with other people and um, our, our work to be done and um, and our personalities, and um, just kind of our our whole reason for being. And actually, this is a these are very similar cards. Um, this is Akasha Noche, which is really come going into yourself. It's like a state of meditation, and um, uh, really contemplating this one, and not just but not just contemplating yourself, but also contemplating others and um, really the, the larger picture of things. And, um, and kind, of, kind of like the purpose of humanity, not just your individual purpose, but kind of more of a, a broader perspective of you know, the purpose of everyone here and humanity and our existence. And um, she has to do with the Akashic Records, which is kind of the memory, the memory of time, the memory of life, and um, I'm going to draw one card from the Tree Magic deck, and we have Resilience, the Walnut Tree, and it says, rich se secrets that are treasures will come as spiritual gifts unfailing, always fertile, and pers persevering. So, rich secrets that are treasures will come as spiritual gifts, unfailing, always fertile, and preserving. The walnut tree resilience. So, um, okay. Well, the, the first part of the reading here, um, really is talking about um, kind of re receiving receiving positive thoughts um, in our our mind it's almost like um, our our mind is almost along with the resilience card our mind is um, self correcting itself you know correcting itself um, washing its itself with um, positive thoughts or or truth um, you know, this this has to do with truth and um, things that are, are real, things that are eternal. So, um, because it's paired with um, Tang here, which is the making of emotions and um, or making of, of good times, the sweet the sweet emotions. So, um, this is really about uh, being being happy in in yourself and in your life and and creating those you know the things that matter for yourself but um this is you know self self correction self awareness uh, awareness of others um telepathy that's what she you know i talk about telepathy with this one because uh the collective thoughts it's like you know our thoughts are shared where you know we we think we might be having just our own thoughts but really 
thoughts come from other places too. Uh, you know, we get thoughts from others. We get thoughts from um, thoughts fall into our head. Thoughts surprise us sometimes. Thoughts just pop pop up into our awareness sometimes and bring us information that we might not have generated on our own. You know, things might instigate thoughts. Um, thoughts, when you contemplate things, you know, it's not like you're sitting there analyzing or processing. Um, it's really just something comes into your head or you spontaneous, spontaneously realize something. And a lot of times emotions... Um, that that's probably the most i mean uh, thoughts are always combined with emotion and the happy emotion this this place of like really ha you know a good place of happiness and joy um these are are the most important thoughts we can have and the most important emotions and experience that we can generate i mean that's that's what our life is here for is to have those moments in our life and to share those moments with people and um, the thoughts that are associated with that are 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 eternal because we we can create what we want in our mind we can create what we want in our life and this is what we all want we want this place of um, peace and happiness and um, enjoyment and um, with that placement of of yourself um, in in those feelings, um, these are very you know very good thoughts that you have, thoughts that reflect on yourself and reflect on others, and um, they're just they're right you know they're they're eternal and you know that's that's what we want to fill our life with. So um, you know sometimes sometimes even with um, the this this one negative thoughts can come into our mind but we we want to let those thoughts go um send those back out okay we got it we understand we we um note to self you know if if a negative thought comes into our head but um really the best thing to do is connect with the positivity in the world and um connect with um the state of health because um, that's healthy is positivity, you know. It's like see see the good in everything, and you can always see the good in everything. And maybe it's not good, but you can still see the good within it and connect with that good within it. So this is really about um, you know locking into the the highest nature within everything, you know, the the positive side of everything. And um, you know, we have two two fours, which is a very stable number. Four four of uh, fire and four of um, mind. But mind, the again, mind is um, the element of air. So, with with the fire and the air, um, things things can go quickly when you have fire and air together. Um, you know, the passions in the right place can travel far and um, you know when you're in that right place in your life uh, things do go quickly and you feel like you know it just everything becomes real easy and there's a lot of movement and um, things happen and you know the whatever is clogged and stuck just really comes free and everything you know gets moving freely you get out of that traffic jam you, you know you get cruising on your highway so um so anyway this is you know interesting how these two kind of go together um because they you know they're both about contemplating self this one's really contemplating self and your own purpose and then this is contemplating the world and its purpose so um, in combination, it's it's really like um, you know what are we all doing here? What's my part in it? So um, anyway, all of this comes that you know we have the walnut tree in the middle, and um, I know it says resilience, but it's also um, I, I've I've heard a lot of symbology of the walnut being the brain because the brain looks like a walnut. <laughs> so um, you know this is really about um, this is not so much brainy, and this is this is kind of contemplative. This is kind of experiential, but um, 
you know, you can use your brain to harness this experience and to harness this um, contemplation and, you know, in this this place of um, reception. So you want to you want to really receive from from your higher your higher self or your um, kind of your higher purpose in in Africa they talk about it being your star like everyone has a personal star out in the universe and that star is connected to your heart so you want to um, find you know find the the light and the meaning and the energy from your star and bring it into your heart you want to um, receive that and then um, this is you know the the entire galaxy really and actually zodi is also but this is really relative to you and this is this is for everybody um so everything has a purpose everything has um uh you know something it's here doing and um so so we just need to find our place in this and and receive receive our our guidance and be open to um how how we are best in the flow of the larger scheme of things and um so we can use our our processing brain our analytical brain to kind of um set ourselves up for this and also um set ourselves up for this where we we make this our aim this is our goal and this is this is what we want to wash our brains with all the time is these happy emotions and these good good times um you know a, another really powerful meditation sometimes is just to hold people in in their highest light when you think of them in their highest light and you can hold yourself with others in your highest light so think of your best moments with those people and you know put put that in your mind and put the light around that and um and from that place you can receive some very good thoughts and um and uh this this will give you the resilience help you bounce back to really make this happen so um you know the resilience is as they say um it brings fertility it um allows you to persevere through things um it brings you gifts in your life um very important treasures and gifts so um and these rich secrets that it talks about um you know it's like we need to tap into tap into the the secrets of the world with you know telepathy uncover uncover the thoughts you know seek out the thoughts know know the thoughts and um also here you know 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 the secret of your life the 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 plan the um the important direction that you need to go and then um also the the larger scheme of things why why um you know where we're all heading and how this is playing out and you know the way <clears throat> the way things kind of unfold to um to make it happen for everybody so the resilience so we're bouncing back here bouncing bouncing into our our uh dream dream life and with our happy emotions and um and with the people we want around us and um with the things that we enjoy doing so anyway i hope you got what you needed out of this reading today and i'll see you again tomorrow thanks a lot